Greetings, fourth grade parents. Today we're going to be reviewing single digit multiplication. So with this problem 324 times 3, it's actually three groups of 324. So it's like having three separate jars and each jar having 324 M&Ms in them. So in fourth grade, we started teaching them three different ways to solve it. And they kind of get to choose which one fits them best. We like it when they understand the variety of different ways to solve it because it allows us as teachers to see their number sense and see if they're able to fully understand multiplication. So the first way we taught it was with place value. Okay, So we drew a place value chart. And with our problem, it is 324 times 3. I like to go up one more place value than what the problem has in case we have to regroup up to the thousands. So I started with the thousands, then I went to the hundreds, then the tens, and then the ones. Now when they're in third grade, they use base 10 blocks when they're practicing multiplication at the beginning. When they move up to fourth grade, we used place value chips. Now we are progressing on just letting them put the number in there. So we have 324. And since it's three groups of that, here's one group, here's two groups, and there's three groups. And all they have to do is add them up. So we have 4, 8, 12, put the 2, and then carry their 10 up. 2, 4, 6, plus 1 is 7, and then 3, 6, 9. The product is 972. Now, we'll shift over to the expanded form. With this form, they break down the multiplication problem into numbers that are easier for them to multiply. So, example, if we have 324 times 3, we want them to be able to vocalize and fully understand that this is 3 times 4. This is not just 3 times 2, but it's actually... 3 times 20, because 2 is in that tens place value. So we have 3 times 20, and then 3 times 300, because that 3 is in the hundreds place value. Now, the only tricky part about this way of doing it is lining up their place values. So oftentimes kids want to put a 12 right here, and they put a 60 over here, but they're not lined up, and so they tend to do the addition incorrectly. So we want to make sure that they're lining up their place values correct. So 3 times 20 is 60, and then 3 times 300 is 900. And then all they have to do is add them up. 972 and 972. Now the final way that most adults remember is the standard algorithm. The standard way that we all learned it as kids. So there's 324 times 3. 3 times 4 is 12. Regroup that 10. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. And then 3 times 3 is 9. Now the reason we call this the standard is because it's how we learn this kids, but it's also the most efficient way to solve it. Now we resort to parents typically doing standard algorithm because they have a practice their whole life and it's just more efficient. But with students in elementary school, we actually really like to see them do it this way or this way because it shows that they fully understand and comprehend what is going on when they're multiplying. They understand this isn't just 2, it's actually 20. This isn't just 3, it's 300. So when you're helping your child with your homework, See if you can help them break it down into this expanded form. That's all we have for today. Tune in next time for double-digit multiplication.